Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with another additional Creatures 2 Creature Spotlight video. And today we have the Pentaceratops. Extinction exclusive creature. So you want one of these, you gotta go to Extinction. And that is actually the map where they they really shine. They are a magnificent mount anyway. Sorry for the alliteration there. But uh they they do their best work against corrupted creatures. And that includes the Titans. So kind of first things first here, level 50 or 150 tamed up, 17,000 health. I mean, they're pretty tanky as is. Now they're, uh, they're kind of, well, a fun tame, let's put it that way. They are a passive tame. They are, however, are extremely aggressive in the wild. And I mean extremely aggressive. Uh, the only way to approach one is to have a red panda on your shoulders, really. Or be close to one. I would honestly just have it on your shoulders. But uh, that'll calm them down long enough for you to walk up and passively tame them. And they are passively tamed with Apex Kibble. Which we've kind of looked at Apex Kibble before. It is this wonderful stuff. It is the one with all the uh, fertilized carnivore eggs you have to hatch up. Or not hatch up, but gather up, including fertilized giga eggs. That is a bit of a pain. But uh, they're definitely worth it. Now, attacks, right? Me, uh, we've got enough that, yeah, scroll the page a bit, a little bit. So, left click, horn swing. Damages all structures, up to and including tech. Now, funny thing is, it doesn't hurt trees though, but you can just push trees over. Right click, it's called the Elemental Stomp. And uh, it does basically twice the damage of the horn swing attack. Downside, can't be used while moving. Upside, it's an area of effect. The C attack, they have this wonderful taunt they can do. Which, you know, honestly from the front is uh, uh, just a little bit intimidating with the uh, the horns this thing has. The X attack, they gather berries. You know, it's forage. And they gather thatch and wood and stuff. But their forage attack, I mean, it lasts a pretty decent amount of time. But it's just hitting the button once and I'm still foraging. There we go. Hey, I heard a dodo. Where is the dodo? Hmm. Ah, there it is. It's one of the tan ones that blends right in. But yeah, I just wanted to do a uh... So yeah, that's 763 damage. No levels put into the thing so far. They get eh, roughly 35% per uh, level of melee. So I mean, pretty, pretty decent when you get down to it. Now, where they really shine is they're armored. So 30% damage reduction. Anything that hits them, take 30% off the top before saddle. They are heavily resistant to elementally influenced creatures. Taking only half damage from tech, elemental, and corrupted creatures. That's, yeah. I mean, it's... Uh, they can take out rock golems, which is kind of fun. They're immune to bleed, sulfur burn, and radiation. And they have a special insulation buff. Only half as effective as normal, but it makes you immune to the wasteland debuff on extinction, which is kind of handy. And... The biggest kicker of it all is they do four times damage to corrupted creatures. The heck? Something killed that Segno. Also, their left click does um, this harvest meat and hide for you. So you're not going to get stuck by killing something and having it like collapse on you. Another bonus is they're big enough they can actually run through a good variety of bodies of water and not have to be, you know, 
resorted to swimming. Because honestly, their swim speed is abysmal. And all they can do while swimming is just, just a nose horn attack. But yeah, the only way to get these guys is you have to have a red panda first. If you're on extinction, that means sunken forest. Go there first. You'll find these things randomly wandering around the uh, the wasteland. And uh, yeah, if you come across one, leave. <laughs> Just don't, don't even chance, because they will do horrible, horrible things to you. But these things are actually, I mean, they're even extremely viable for a uh, King Titan fight. I, my uh, uh, storyline playthrough, I uh, think I had like 25 of these things. And not only, well, not only did I win, obviously, but uh, I didn't lose any of them. So it's kind of nice. Uh, it's level 95 for the saddle. So, I mean, you're definitely not getting them early. I mean, well, hell, Apex, Egg Kibble, seriously, at this point. But uh, Extinction is probably the only map that has easy access to all the creatures that you get Apex eggs from anyway. So it's, you know, custom made for this guy here. Oh yeah, good job. Hey! Yeah, it's close. Uh some of the creatures from additional creatures too pooped from like their rib cage, so that's why I was that's the hay was back because I figured this was one of them too. But I mean all in all, great creature. Uh they can actually move at a pretty decent clip, and uh they've got a lot of stamina, so they can keep up a run for a really long time. Uh downside is they don't really have the ability to jump, so you do have to be careful about where you go. And they are not the greatest at... Oh, they do trample damage, too. Uh, they're not the greatest at timing over stuff. But, I mean, yeah, you don't really need to worry about that, no, do you? Because everything's just going to die. Especially if you take, like, 20 of these into a boss fight. But, thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this video, and until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.